What's up everybody? Verdict here. Thanks so much for stopping by. Every once in a while you really want to grow, right? Every once in a while you say, well, did I do something wrong? And every once in a while you really want to revisit your own self, think it through, and most importantly, see if there is room to grow, see if there is something done wrong, something done good taken wrong, you know, things being taken out of context. And today's video will be a little bit of a different one. I don't do these types of videos usually because I don't look at my own content to toot my own horn. That's a ridiculous thing to do. But my Decade Tornwood video has has really been instrumental for this for the for the channel recently because it has brought so much negativity towards me and the take that I had to the point where I really have to address it. The general consensus of my Deke Tornwood video is that people think I'm complaining about Mystic, or rather the motivation for my Deke Tornwood is Mystic not being good there. Which is so far away from the truth to the point where people saying this are simply lying. I really need to get this out of the way. Just to summarize what my intent was for Deke Tornwood, the video that I made for Deke's Lantern, my general idea for that video was simple. I wanted to tell everybody how Dekia, in general, is capitalizing upon the good and bad aspects of every class and emphasizing upon them, creating disparity, which is more and more evident. And if it continues going towards that direction, eventually it's going to be so different because a very good example of this is if you look at the tree's branches, you go from the root and you go into the tree's crown, at the start of the game, it's right around here. The gap is very small. At mid game, it's around here. The gap gets bigger. And at late game, it gets wider than you could possibly imagine. And this is like the palm of my hand. This is what Dekia Tornwood is. This is what this... <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I can't look at my face like that. This is what my intent was. And, you know... I'm going to rewatch my entire video today to see if I did a good job or are we having really people that just want to prove me wrong, people that are out here to discredit me because a lot of content creators have reacted to this video and every single thing was almost entirely negative. So let's look at it. Decket Thornwood and in general Decket's Lantern is an amalgamation of everything wrong in Black Desert Online and let me guide you through, sit back, relax and try to enjoy all right this this state i still i still think the statement is true i really still believe the statement is true because everything wrong in black desert online right now literally everything wrong in black desert online is fully revealed with they kiss tornwood and perhaps i'm willing to agree that it's not necessarily dekia's lantern issue it's more or less class disparity being more evident on dekia's tornwood I'm willing to take a step back and say perhaps this is true, but in reality, in reality, I still think that if you go to the bank with a card and the card gets rejected and you call the bank and the bank st says that they have blocked your card, I still don't think that it's the card's issue, it's the bank. So let, let, let's see, let's see. Let's talk about Dekia's Lantern. It's been very polarizing if you've played it, if it's uh, not on your radar yet because you're too undergeared. Well, this video will kind of help you really get a good idea, like a grasp what's happening with Dekia. And specifically, we'll be talking about Dekia Thornwood because, let's be honest, it is kind of the queen's jewel of grinding right now in Black Desert Online. And I, I do believe it's the queen's jewel in Black Desert Online right now. I do believe that it's the highest silver income you can ever get on every single spot. Right now, that's obvious, that's evident, everybody, that every single Dekia Tornwood is more money for every single class in the entire game than the previous spot is. There is no exception. I mean, Shies grind on Dekia Tornwood better than they grind anywhere else, you know? This is true because of how broken the spot is. I still think that's true. Perhaps Shies can make more in Tunkuta with a good player, though. You get the idea, let's not pick, let's not cherry pick, please. I hate this cherry picking. Let's not cherry pick. I'm just providing that probably for 95% of the classes, Dekia Tornwood, if not 98, Dekia Tornwood is just the best spot. In general, what's causing the polarization of the community? Dekia is an idea introduced by the developers towards us. In essence, it is 
if you have too much gear and you have nowhere to make that gear work well congratulations this is where we will give you this opportunity to use a lot of that gear so every that is true um that's obviously true because that's what they stated i just rephrased it a little bit um they could deck your content in general is content for extreme end game gear players because only they can go around but they could tornwood is in my eyes and this is adding a little bit of context to the video i guess deck tornwood is a little bit too under tuned so that you have far much more people having access to it therefore making far too much silver from it in my eyes deck tornwood shouldn't be half a billion in front of uh rutums in my eyes deck tornwood should be probably 200 million but only accessible by the crazy geared players i think this is a much better approach for it a little bit of flavor extra added to my statement but yes it's there for the extreme gear player buddy is jumping on deck your thornwood because it's grindable by everybody i went there with okay grindable by everybody is not is i didn't state it that well i it, it in in every this is this is the this is the degeneracy of the video player right here if you if you make a pv video complaining about a class changes you about a class change similar to what I did with the lawn recently, you're bound to have a, an idiot like what I said here, like an idiot like me, bound to have an idiot saying that PvP, her PvP is good and I should do something uh, with that instead of complaining about the PvE. You know, you're bound to you're bound to think that the 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 sphere which you operate within this game is the only sphere. And there is nothing else. The, the PvP degenerates, they really say the same thing. It's like, when you say Suck Mystic needs buff in PvE, they say Suck Mystic is great in PvP, you shouldn't buff her. This is such a fucked up thing, and I've, and I've been encountering it ever since day one on my channel. But yeah, um, I, this, is, this is something that we can all grow about. I didn't mean everybody. In my eyes, everybody is 309. So, sorry. This is, this is, a, this is an L on my end. I'm willing to take it. If my Awakening Mystic, which is one of the most notorious unprotected specializations in the entire game, and in general, my experience with <laughs> when when uh, th funny thing when I said that she is notoriously one of the most one of the most I didn't even say the most I said one of the most the the stupid thing about this and it was it, it really just made me it, it really it made me furious because I said that she is one of the most I didn't say she's the most I stated one of the most. And in general, my experience with Awakening Mystic was really, really poor because what I patience in the entire game. And in general, most notorious, unprotected special. Yeah, one of the most. She's not the most, right? I, I went say. there with my Awakening Mystic, which is one of the most. Exactly. I said one of the most, and then I had absolute buffoons come around and say, "Dude, what do you mean succession, uh, this or Awakening that?" I'm like, "Dude, it, it's like I didn't compare." I just said one of the most and people are out there really just witch hunting me uh, after that statement but anyways let's, let's go notorious unprotected specializations in the entire game and in general my experience with awakening mystic was really really poor because what i had to do to make up for my lack of protection was build crystals which set me back in order for me to simply be able to grind it that is true there are classes that avoid crystals um the, the crystal changes i gave an example later on so I used Mystic here as an example because I'm a Mystic player. I am the Mystic guy right now from the content creators. And, you know, what the fuck am I supposed to relate to outside of my Mystic, you know? If I didn't use the Mystic as an example, and I probably say, said something along the lines of, well, what if I said perhaps, um, Deke Tornwood is really downplaying on classes because some classes don't have to build that resistances. I guess people would not focus that much on my on my uh the, the fact that i just related to my main on my mystic and i'm not an awakening mystic people think i'm an awakening mystic no i'm a suck mystic that plays awakening because i it's just so much better right now this is the very first issues of this deck here content because it's going to reward the players and the classes that have good protection so from the get-go that is still true is going to reward the players and the classes that have good protection you cannot you can't be stupid enough because i i've seen I, I, as i watched uh, blue squadron's reaction to this video there was somebody in the in his chat a complete fool say saying something i'm sorry for flaming it's just that i'm venting out because this is so much frustration that it's piled up towards me in this video some fool said that we'll just do your protected combo and i'm like what 
I, I was just like, are you are you kidding me? We we have some people really opinionated people that are just I don't know. We have specializations that simply do not work on Dekia Tornwood being the prime example, Awakening Mystic being one of them. That no, it doesn't mean that you cannot grind there. No, we're just kind of taking the entirety of the player base really extrapolating the numbers that everybody is getting on every class and when we see mystic literally not being in top 20 then we kind of can say well there is okay okay here's the thing this is so important this is so important guys when i said extrapolating the for, for the purpose of the bad direction because direction is a is it's 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 something in the future that is about to happen when i say extrapolating upon the player base and when you see mystic not being capable of being in in, in top 20 we have an issue what this statement means that literally and unconditionally unprotected classes unless they are the broken unprotected classes are going to be at the bottom end and there will feel a little bit of that disparity come around and this will continue to grow even further more as i gave the example of the with the palm of my hand and the fingers this continue to grow towards the negative direction i guess i'm complaining about mystic something wrong here and i know personally because i'm a mystic player i'm one of the most known mystic players out there and it's really i need to really stop tooting my my horn it's like a one-man competition at this point kind of on my radar i really know what's going on with the class then just to giving you a good example but i do know what the hell is going on with my class is i went with my succession lawn and my succession lawn being one of the most protected classes in the entire game literally protected while grinding pve you are almost in permanent protection you are point being if your optimal pve rotation is protected you will be the king of this fucking spot. Lan's optimal PvE rotation is, I would say, 90% or above 90% of the time protected. The entire combo is really, really few in gaps. And th for the people that think that Awakening Mystic is unprotected with her most optimal PvE combo on Awakening, you are in need of a reality check. You really need to tag a Mystic right now, go on my videos, and really see the amount of protection i have on my optimal combo are able to go for the high ap number and it's not it's not just an optimal combo as in eh, it's two percent ahead of the usual no there is no other combo first but at the same time because of uh, different types of a setup that the class has you still can't scratch above 15k normally so then when i said 15k i should have said without digress here i'm i'm surprised i missed that when I said 15k, I did 15k without without the... Uh, no, no, I did with Agris. What what? I, did I have Agris right now on this video. What a stupid thing to do. <laughs> what a stupid thing to do. Okay, I'll grow I'll grow from this, definitely. I did have an hour with uh, that I did almost 15 point something k. And I did that entirely without Agris. This is my very first hour here on Succession Lawn. And I'm a little bit embarrassed by this. Okay, I should have stated that it's without Agris and probably use a better example that's obviously without Agris. Okay. A little bit, and I went into uh, the deep rabbit hole of YouTube. I wanted to look for evidence of people grinding this Dekia Tornwood, and I saw that there was a succession Rusa that got 24k trash for the entire hour on Dekia Tornwood. As much as I'm not happy to see that, I need to say that Rusa. Also, I'm done. I'm I'm done with talking about Succession Wusa. I'm done. I'm done talking with. I'm done talking about uh, Wusa negatively in, in its entirety. I've been. I I I don't want this to be the staple of the channel. I don't want to be verdict to the guy that hates Suck Wusa. I don't want to be that. I don't want to be that. Even though, four of my most famous videos are trash talking Wusa. Literally, and I don't want to be that, so I'm done talking about Wusa. Let the players enjoy it. Does it can can she be nerfed? Yes. Does she deserve to be stomped? No. She just deserves a little bit of a, a little bit of a just you know, a push on the shoulder if you get what I mean. 
Musa is by definition the best range AoE grinder in the game. She has a lot of burst, she has a lot of yeah, CC, she's not ranged, she has yeah. a lot of mobility, a lot of protection, and she does not care about the issues that other classes experience. So from the get-go, we True. have look at how protected her kid is of deck gear content. It is which look how protected her kid is, man. There and have a more forward guards, time. we have frontal cones like succession Wusa that are oh. absolutely amazing on deck gear Thornwood. We have that seen archers do good. I've seen a lot of these classes, just the range classes, they're doing phenomenally well because they have the utility to survive these quote-unquote mechanics of the spot or in other words just dodge the attacks for christ's sake but anyways one of the reasons for Dekia, really in my opinion being just this absolute disgusting piece of content that was pushed out before any attempts of balance have been made is well i guess i just said it didn't i when deck i still hold that I, I i i am willing to weather a storm for this sentence because Dekia Stormwood was pushed without testing. Dekia, Storm, uh, Dekia in general, not just Stormwood. Ash Forest is still ungrindable, completely ungrindable in invasion classes. In fact, you might as well just delete your character in, in, instead of going there. I still believe that Dekia in general and in specific Thornwood is pushed out content without testing being done on it, without taking balance into consideration. I still do believe that this is true. It was introduced, there was no, oh, look at this, we have classes that are not capable of getting the AP cap because they have to run with something like, for example, Deathblow, Succession Lawn. It takes one to know one, all right? It takes one to know one. I want everybody to look at me right now. You ha if you don't play a Deathblow class, you have no idea how good Deathblow is. It takes one to know one. I approached Lan like a complete idiot. I approached Lan thinking that it's an evasion class because it has an evasion passive, that it can play with whatever she wants when she was lacking too much crit and she has only one tier three cooldown on a 16 seconds, by the way. And I approached Lan thinking that her mobility is simple. You need to understand these things. It takes one to know one. Lawn without Deathblow is not even a class. It's 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 just stupid. Not to mention that if you're lacking the crit, you're not getting the health return from Dekia Stormwood because Elixir is based on crits and also DP reduction is based on crits. You get the idea. It's very important, this statement. It takes one to know one. And, I, and, I'm, and I'm very happy that I gave that away because even though I said... <laughs> and I guess I'm still complaining with Mystic even though I gave another class an example, right? She really wants to run with Deathblow because when you go there with Elixirs, unless you have full crit, then you don't nullify the defense as much, you don't get the healing as much, because you're literally lacking into the crit spectrum. And once you get Deathblow, you're essentially setting yourself back just so you make yourself viable compared to other classes that literally do not care about that. We have every single class that is capable of running with Fallen, or in other words, the Camasylvian damage onto the artifacts, be extremely prominent. They're not necessarily... That is true. Classes that are capable of running Fallen are better than classes that are capable of running Deathblow. That's one of the main things, the bane of existence of, of Dark Knights, the bane, bane of existence of, of not necessarily Zerkers, because Zerkers are just overall too good. The Suck Sage is something that I was aware um, that is uh, taking um, Deathblow really too hard. Without Deathblow, you're just not a class. And Deathblow is a definitive wall for so many classes. And as I said, it takes one to know one. Lons that are switching away from Deathblow and Kama Sylvia here to Fallen. In specific, they're doing it because they've reached the 70%. And after the, you've reached the 70%, which you can do, by the way, with some great, great gear, then you are bound to go and switch towards Fallen because it's going to scale you up. But still, that moment is so debatable whether or not it's worth to the point where if you go into any of these discords, people are going to tell you, dude, just run with that blow. Don't bother about it. Necessarily because of that, but you get it. Everything helps. This is the types of content when you want to min-max as crazy as possible. But let's be honest, this isn't Diablo 2, all right? This isn't a moment where you have to make a paladin in zeal so that you can beat Uber Diablo. This shouldn't be the approach to Black Desert Online. I agree with this still. This, unless you know Diablo, <laughs> you, you wouldn't know what I'm talking about. But um, Diablo, th and I, I, I need to elaborate a, a little bit upon this because Uber Diablo in uh, in Diablo 2 is one of the things that is only grindable with one class. And this furthermore uh, brings validation towards what I what I said that it's that it's um, it's a polarizing experience because inevitably the more you the more distance you add to classes, inevitably only one class will be worth to be played there. 
right? And this is the same example that I gave with Diablo 2. You shouldn't approach a game and a certain specific content in order for you to... Sorry, you shouldn't approach a game and a certain specific content in that game with the idea of let's create disparity between classes or let's not care about the disparity. So inevitably, one king will reign supreme at the end. This is what, I, this is what the purpose of the video is. This should be, in my opinion, hey, let's look at every single class in big detail and let's see why can't they farm this, this and that and let's give them the tools that they need so that this content will be relevant for everybody. Otherwise it happens. Or in other words, well, we have literally only three classes again that are viable because viability is defined by the, by the extreme end of performance. If you are a 15k Awakening Mystic player and you're, you're getting 15k in a decade Tornwood, but then you have a Wusa that's doing 24k, well, how viable are you into that spectrum? We have People do not understand viability people do not understand what what suboptimal means what viable means what optimal means they don't know what these things by definition are oh i'm getting frustrated a bit because why would people am i am i wrong here am i really wrong here why would people be so confused over what i said am i doing it poorly i have no idea this has been the bane of my damn existence this video I have Viability, as I said, <sighs> viability is defined by the extreme performance onto the positive end of the spectrum, or in other words, the extreme performance define what define what is viable or is it not. And this is the thing with Deku Tornwood. It's a marvelous idea. It's what you want to have. But at the same I time, like it, yeah. the AP cap is not reachable, so somebody with full Pandaboricus will be more prominent than everybody else. But granted, I mean, that's what the idea of the content is. But then I gave an example, and then what I did was simply say, yeah, granted, that's the idea. I mean, that is the idea, but still, you have classes that don't care whether or not they're at the AP cap. Granted, that's a performance thing, not necessarily Dekia Tornwood issue, but Dekia Tornwood capitalizes upon that, so yeah. You also need to take into consideration that if I'm an Awakened Mystic with full Pendeboricus, I still won't be doing as good a Succession Booster, because I have to put my defensive crystals, I have to make sure I have all the resistances up and running, and also, probably not even be Evasion. Another conversation to have, Evasion simply... I guess I guess we can all agree on one th on one thing. If if we don't have this heal to die upon, then I'm not sure what we'll what we'll agree upon on Dekia content. Dekia is not an evasion content. I guess this is Pearl Abyss's um, fu evasion players for farming Ash Forest too good and Crypt of Resting Thoughts before the nerf, right? I think that's a little bit of an fu. Now it's time for Dr to shine, but they have no clue what they did with this. <laughs> like they they made pvp players <laughs> just uh anyways i, I don't want to go into that sorry it does not work on dekia content the mobs have too much accuracy in fact my lawn on succession with the 14 percent buff my mystic with the all base evasion that she has we just simply don't get missed we are face tanking everything and it's very very hard to make a class work like this now that's true for the purpose of the, the performance of a few classes to make a point here but it's very important to understand that pearl abyss said hey guys this is going to be really content for the top end game gear player and then we have 700 gear score wooses blowing out end game gear players you know this is that is true people don't want to admit that is true and it's, I, I I need to stop using just Woos as an example there are 700 gear score players that are going Dekia Tornwood and they're having much easier time than 730 gear score players they're having a much 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 easier time because their classes allow that time to to be had and I should stop using Succession Woos as the prime example it's just that the video that I used was I don't know in my eyes I think Going back to the succession was a prime example into Mystic is prime example because this is what I'm known for is, is just the better idea. I probably shouldn't have done this. What my argument here is, you have classes that don't care about the AP caps because they deal enough damage for them to neglect that. And just imagine if you're a full Pandaforica, Woos on succession going there. Oh, good. This is not even fun at this point. <laughs> it's not even fun. Now, granted, every class has its own trap. We are not going to sit here and pretend that classes That's true. don't work. Lon has the death blow trap. Awakening Mystic has the resistance trap. Succession Mystic has the fact that she can, she needs to face tank to get her damage out. So Suck Mystic is one of the classes here that is absolutely not viable. We're talking it's purposeless to play Suck Mystic here. Just giving you as an example, this is not a complaint about Mystic once more. This is literally giving just pure examples because that's what my experience is. 
right? Awakening Lan is something that you shouldn't be necessarily playing here. You should be succession here. You get the idea. It's super polarizing, guys. This was what the idea of the video was. Work because of this and that, and that's uh, applying to everybody. No, 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 by no stretch of the imagination. Mystic has an issue. She cannot go with the evasion there. She has no protection for her to be viable there without sacrificing the, the crystals. Lan is, she cannot move away from death blow, so she cannot push the high AP caps. Probably, I don't know, for Berserker, it could be the same with the death blow. I couldn't even tell you. But, see, every class has an issue which holds them back. And this is what Perlobis should be looking into. So, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I still believe this is what Perlobis should be looking into. All right, let's just, let's just... What have I learned from this? I will stop using Mystic and, in specific, Succession Wusa as broken as she is. And Mystic is, Mystic is one of the best classes to grind right now. Like, she really is an Awakening. And I'm going to stop using Succubus to just these two primes because it's, it's becoming a staple that I don't want. It really has become a staple that I don't want. Vekia Tornwood is accessible by a lot of players. Vekia Tornwood is not accessible by a seasonal player, for you, you get the idea. But overall, I still believe that Vekia Tornwood is content that capitalizes on the player's strengths and weaknesses far much more than any other content has, therefore making it polarizing. I need to phrase myself much better. I need to phrase, sorry, my sentences much better. And I, I just want people to understand that I'm not complaining about Mystic, man. It's, it's such a thorn at my side. I cannot sleep when I, when I read stuff like that. I really just, oof. Yeah, guys, I, I hope you enjoyed if you even did. And uh, let's, let's, let's just be better. Let's just be better. Let's let, let's just take two steps back as I just did with myself and try to try to just grow. Let's try to just grow. See you soon.